welcome to our freezy January day here at the Calvert Quilt Shop. This month we are starting month number seven of our block of the month for this year, which is Harriet's Journey from Elm Creek Quilts. Each month we've been doing 10 different blocks and we're on row F this month. And so we have 10 different blocks um, that I thought was interesting about one of them because it incorporated a good example for showing how to use Eleanor Burns square up ruler. We are studying Amish quilts. Little Magdalena here is supposed to be reminding me that we're going to study the history of the Amish quilter this month. And we're also studying crazy patch quilts because what happened at our 100th birthday in the exhibition of, of our centennial ex exhibition in Fairmont Park, Philadelphia in 1876, we had an exhibit from Japan that actually taught our gals some of the very, very fancy stitches that ended up on crazy patch quilts of the late 19th century. So, but our, our lesson today is based on triangle squares and how to cut them evenly and how to make sure that you get an accurate six and a half inch block because this whole quilt is 106 and a half inch blocks. The ruler that Elle developed is called a double square up ruler. And I just brought in a couple of our older rulers so you could see what it is. Okay, the bottom half of the ruler is nothing more than a six and a half inch square up, which you can use to cut all sizes of squares up to six and a half inches. The top portion of it, however, is a triangle square up ruler. Okay, and it will square up any triangle up to four and a half inches square. So if you look at Massachusetts, you have a half square triangle in these three areas, and you have a quarter square triangle in these four areas. And this month, there's a lot of those in our block, so I decided it would be a great idea to just uh, review again how to make them with what we call the house ruler. So let's start off with the half square triangle square. And in order to make one square, two squares, I'm sorry, start off with one dark square and one light square, now notice, we want to square up to two and a half because a, a six inch nine patch finished is nine two inch squares. So that means each one of the blocks we put into our block uh, are two and a half inches when they, before they get sewn in with our quarter inch seam allowance. So if we start off with a little bit larger square, a three and a quarter inch square of dark and light, put them right sides together, draw a line on one diagonal, sew a quarter inch to each side of that, cut the line. Um, now at this point, normally what we used to do is we would open those up, press them, and then square them up to two and a half. What happens with the square up ruler is you keep them folded and you find the two and a half on your square up ruler and you put the two and a half right on your stitching line. And what happens, and I have the better diagram is right here. When you put the two and a half inch mm -hmm. stitching line on top of the two and a half inch ruler, and make sure that it's kind of in the center. All the extra square power goes right away. And what you what happens now when you press that open, you've got a perfect two and a half inch square to sew into your nine patch block. Now the only difference between that and the quarter square, of course, is we have twice as many triangles, but this time we're gonna cut even just a little bit larger because we're gonna be cutting in two directions. So we're gonna use a three and three quarter inch square, and again, this, this math here comes from a chart that I gave you earlier in the semester, so you can just look that up. We're going to take the dark square and the light square, right sides together, except this time we're going to mark both diagonals. We're going to sew a quarter inch to um, each side of one of them, and then we're actually going to cut them apart on both of the diagonals. And what happens is you get these fellas right here. So you now have triangles, but we don't have them squared up to two. We don't have them sewn together, and we don't have them squared up to two and a half. So find the buddies. Okay, they'll alternate for you. Fold them together. Okay, like this one. And then you're going to sew your quarter inch seam allowance right across the bottom. One other thing too, there's a there's a vertical one here. So make sure that they're all matching and they're going straight up. And then when you put your square up ruler on there. Again, you put it on the two and a half going across here. This time you also want to put the center of the square up going up the center of your vertical seam. And again, all of your excess is coming off both sides. 
when you open that fellow up, he's um, going to be a, a perfect two and a half inch square. The other thing that kind of is fun that, that happens, it, it's not uh, quilt police savvy because what happens, we're always supposed to be pressing toward the dark side and it does happen too here. But on this particular one, if you create this little fellow in the middle, which it will do for you, makes it nice and even, it distributes the bulk. But two of these will be going in this direction and the other two will be going that way. But it makes it much easier to sew. So that's a perfect two and a half inch quarter square triangle. And you can do that in any size. And we do have some different sizes depending on the blocks in this, in this particular month's quilt. Hope you're staying warm and staying safe. Bye-bye.